Ralph Army. So for today's video, what we're going to do is mix up some gear minerals. Uh, we have uh, dicalcium phosphate, uh, trace minerals, and some dried molasses. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do one part of the dicalcium phosphate to two parts of the trace minerals and two parts of the molasses. Um, you don't have to be super, uh, I guess, picky on your measuring system. What we're going to use is just a coffee cup. Uh, so let's break these down. Um, all these products were purchased at the Stevenson Marketing Co-op in Stevenson, Michigan. They're pretty uh, common. You can get them at just about any feed mill, feed mill um, around where you're at. So let's break these down and uh, get them mixed up. We're going to mix these ahead of time before we uh, actually get to where we're going to pour them out. So what I'm going to use is just an old kitty litter bucket. It's got a top on it that closes. That way I can throw it in the back of the side-by-side -side or on the back of the floor with it and uh, just transport it wherever we're going to be. Get these set up. Alright, so like I said, one part dicalcium phosphate. So I'm actually going to do two scoops with the coffee can, and then we'll do four of each of the other ones. So what this is going to get you is this cost. Well, there's 150 pounds worth of material here, and it cost me less than fifty dollars. If you were to buy this pre-mix from a sporting goods store, um, it's going to cost you a whole lot more than that. Uh, so this will last me, uh, and all the spots I'm going to do, three properties, I'll do one big spot at each property, um, and it'll last me all year for, like I said, less than $50. And the molasses, I don't think, really gives them a whole lot of anything that they need. But what it does is it makes the dicalcium phosphate taste better because it's very bitter to the deer. So I guess it's more of an attractant. In here. So that filled my bucket almost to the top. Take a look. So, if you see, it filled that bucket almost all the way to the top. So then what we can do, we can put the lid on it. I can shake it around a little bit, get it mixed up. And then once we get out to our hunting spot, we will uh, work the area up get any debris out of there, um, try to find a stump or something that we can pour it onto, and then we'll just pour it on, kind of working in a little bit, and then just let nature take its take its course. So that's how we mix it up. Like I said, one part dicalcium phosphate, two parts trace minerals, two parts molasses, dried molasses. It's granulated, see if you can see that, but uh, it's granulated molasses. Smells good. So, and then there's your trace minerals, and there's your dicalcium phosphate. So, uh, we'll finish this video up. We'll go out in the woods. I'll show you how to apply it, and uh, we'll go from there. And maybe we'll set a trail cam up on one of these spots and see if we get anything coming in. So, all right, stick with me. All right. 
right, Ben Blue Elf Army, here we are. This is going to be our first mineral spot. Uh, what I'm trying to do is find a spot that's not right underneath of like a pine tree where the ground's going to be super acidic, but I'm trying to look for some maybe some dead stump. Uh, what I'm going to do first is kind of work this ground, get some of this debris out of here. I'm not too worried about some of the green grass with the leaves and stuff. We'll move all this out of the way. Kind of right by the base of this stump. <clears throat> Make sure that that mineral gets down into the dirt. Working in a little bit with our rake, and we'll be all set. Just kind of mix it up a little bit, make sure it's getting into that dirt. Get some on the back side here. Mix it in. Down in that stump. All right, so there we are. That's our first mineral site. We'll hang a uh, camera on this and uh, see if we get any photos. See if they're using it, and hopefully that's going to grow us some some big deer and uh, get them moving in here early spring. So thanks for watching, and as always, be happy and be safe.